Welcome back. Tomorrow we're going to see how much warmer, colder, drier, or wetter the world has become over the last 10 years as new climate normals are released. ABC 10's chief meteorologist Monica Woods spoke with a local climate expert about what we might find right here in California. Every 10 years, we get a better idea of what we consider our new climate normals. This started back in 1935 when the World Meteorological Organization started releasing what we call the 30-year climate normals. Tuesday, we will see how the old set of data from 1981 to 2010 compares to the new information from 1991 to 2020. Of course, the last numbers for California didn't include the historic dry and warm 2012 to 2016 drought. Paul Ulrich, an associate professor of global climate modeling at the University of California, Davis, says since California is a state of extremes, we will likely see that reflected in our new normals. Particularly when it comes to precipitation, we have massive variability, basically, and there's no average year in California, it seems. It, we're always either on an extremely wet side of the scale or an extremely dry side of the scale. As for temperatures, preliminary reports show we may likely see our temperature trend slightly warmer. We've already seen this affecting the Sierra with more rain falling in the mountain than snow. This is a growing concern for our reservoir system since they were originally built to primarily hold snow melt. That means that we're effectively losing one of the largest natural reservoirs of water that we have in the state. And a reservoir responsible for approximately a third of California's total water resources. Having a better sense of where our climate is heading with these new normals will serve as a significant baseline for many decision makers. This data helps plan for electricity load, calculating heating and cooling requirements for buildings, construction scheduling, agriculture decisions, and other sectors of the economy.